with Paul Salazar over at Hilton and Highland. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a, uh, a webinar that discusses uh, how to prep your house uh, before it comes on the market. This is part of my seller series. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll just kind of talk about some simple changes you can make to your property before it comes on the market to really add value and to, uh, to help with the sell, right? Because the quicker the house sells, the more you're going to get for it. So let's just get right into it, guys. Um, if you guys don't know me, if you guys haven't watched any of my webinars, uh, a little bit about me here is, you know, born and raised in Southern California. I've been at Hilton and Highland, which is a boutique luxury firm in Beverly Hills for the last 11 years. I've, I've been selling real estate for the last 14 years. Um, and if you guys want to follow me on social, um, at Paul Salazar Group on Instagram, you can find me on LinkedIn. I have a Facebook business page. Uh, you can easily find my cell phone, email. If you guys want to get in contact with me, um, if you're a buyer, seller, or if you're an agent, uh, or if you just want to you know, just kind of chat about um, about real estate, I'm always here to kind of help and provide value for, uh, for anyone here in either Los Angeles or anywhere in the United States. All right, guys. So the first thing that, that, that we can do that's going to create the biggest amount of impact um, to uh, kind of clean up the house is to remove clutter. Uh, here is a before and after photo of actually one of my recent listings. The before photo is when it was on the market before with another agent. Um, what, what I do is before we even take photos of the, of the property, I go there with my assistant on the photo shoot day. Uh, and un unless we're going to get a stage, if we're still using all of the furniture uh, from the seller, I'm going to clean up all the clutter myself. I'm going to put it in the drawers. I'm going to put it in the closet. I'm going to put it in the garage. Even just for the photo shoot, this is super, super important to really make sure the place looks really clean. The photos are the most important part of the marketing process. Um, as you guys know, everybody's on Zillow, they're on Redfin, they're on Realtor.com, you know, sorting through a bunch of different properties and what they're looking at is just photos, right? Once they like the photos, they'll look at the description and all the other stuff, but the photos are really are the number one thing. So uh, I say here, strategically remove items to make the space look uh, or seem larger, right? Um, it's also more attractive to the buyers to see a nice clean photo, right? So if you look at the left, you've got a lot of small things on the kitchen counters. We removed all those and we made it look super, super clean like a staged home would. And they're also a lot less destructive, right? When you're seeing a photo uh, of a staged home compared to a non-staged home with a bunch of clutter and it's the same exact space, you can tell the difference of how you feel about that property just based on the photos. So this is a very, very easy thing to do. Um, you, you know, you can start removing the clutter uh, before you put it on the market and then, you know, have your agent come the day of the photo shoot and help you kind of stage the house to make it look nice. A lot of agents don't go to the photo shoot. They just have the photographer go and take shots. I think it's super important to be at that uh, at that photo shoot with the photographer and really stage the property, uh, you know, you know, with what whatever's there to make it look nice. Um, it, it's it's uh, it's a very proactive approach. But again, the photos are the number one thing when it comes to marketing a property. All right, next, how to find a value add before you put your house on the market? What can we do to add value to it? Right. So my example below was another property I sold earlier uh, later last year, back in November, and it was also a property that was on the market before with another agent. Um, from the master bedroom, there was a beautiful view to the mountains, um, and if you can see the photo on the left, they had a bunch of you know or ornaments and, and wall decorations, plus they had really heavy drapery. So on the photo on the left, you can't see the view. On the photo on the right, you can see an amazing view to the mountains from the master bedroom. So if you're a buyer looking and there's 10 different properties and they're all the same, and one has a view from the master bedroom uh, overlooking the mountains or the ocean or a golf course or anything really pretty, which one do you think they're gonna uh, they're gonna want to uh, take a look at, right? You know the answer to that. So that's a really easy find, uh, easy way to add value to the property. And ADU, if you have a garage uh, and you want to convert that into a little guest house and maybe spend you know forty or fifty grand to to maybe you know add floors, add a, a sink or a kitchen or a bathroom in there to make it a small guest house, that's gonna add a lot of value to your house, right? And and that's just something that may take a little bit longer, maybe three to six months. But when you're looking at selling and you're not in a rush to sell, this is a great opportunity to you for you to talk to your agent and say, hey, how can I add value to a property? 
I just went on a listing appointment earlier this week, and uh, you know this this property had not been uh, you know re uh, re remodeled or renovated since the owner bought it back in the mid 90s. So you're you're, you're talking about 25 years of 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 having absolutely no remodeling in the house. I told her, hey, why don't we repaint the house neutral colors? Uh, we can uh, do some small touches. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, replacing uh, the um, the hardware on the kitchen uh, uh, kitchen cabinets and the bathroom as well, the the drawers. So all the the, the small hardware to o o open and pull the drawers uh, and the cabinets, you can unscrew those and put some more modern features on there, right? Also paint the cabinets and also stage it. So that's what we're gonna do to that property. I said, hey, listen, we spend 15 or 20 grand on doing these small changes and we can get another $100,000. So you're making you know, four or five times your money on the investment. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time, you know, maybe two or three weeks and it takes cash, it takes capital. But once you do that, you're adding a ton of value to the property. Uh, creating privacy is also really important, right? So um, if you have a backyard and you have your neighbor's house is two stories and it's looking right into your backyard, a buyer is going to see that and say, oh, this is not very private. Why not put ficus trees or, or, or um, you, know, you know, there's plenty of different trees that, that you can add to that part of your backyard to make it more private. So those are some easy ways to add value. All right. So removing furniture, we talked about, you know, kind of decluttering stuff, right? This is another big way to add value to a property is to clean up the space, right? Make it flow a little bit better. So this example right here is in the living room of a condo I listed in Brentwood. It was already listed again with a, with another agent. It, it, it did not sell. And when, when I put it on the market, I said, well, you know, this is a great fireplace here and you're not even promoting it because you have a chair right in the middle of that fireplace. So we removed that chair, we put on the fireplace, and wow, look at the difference here that, that we did. It also flows better, right? Because if you have too much furniture and the furniture is too big, it makes the space look smaller. And this condo is, is already a smaller condo, so why are you promoting a smaller space? Why not promote a bigger space on in, a, in already a small space, right? So remove some unnecessary furniture is also a great way to uh, to add value to the, to the to the property. This here is probably one of my favorites and one of the easiest ways to really brighten up a room and change the way it looks on the photography and also in the house. Um, this property I listed for just under 2.5. We got four offers in two weeks and we sold it just, I think, 98% of list price. It was on the market for an entire year with three different agents. I took over and we made a few different changes. We painted it. Uh, we took out some of the window coverings and we staged it and look at the difference guys I mean, this is the same exact room and this room if you would if, if you talk about what the what the cost to stage this room and to paint it and to take the window coverings you're talking about a, a few thousand dollars but look at the impact it makes on the photos right so this one here this is a great way to to add value to your property is to make it look brighter make it look cleaner um, and by just removing some of the heavy window coverings if you have some of the more modern window coverings that's okay because you can just put those all the way up for the photo shoot but if you have the big heavy drapery take those out Take those out for, for the entire time uh, that you're going to be marketing the property because it, it's not only going to work for the photos, but it's also going to work when a buyer comes to go see the property. All right, deep cleaning, super important. You don't want to go take a look at a, uh, at a property or let, let's just say you're going to go buy a car. You think, uh, you know, all the, all the, all the dealerships, they, they have dirty cars. No, they're cleaning the cars every single week. They want those cars to look pristine clean you're not going to sell a house that's dirty right you want to make sure it's super super clean so before you put it on the market do a deep clean after that make sure it's clean every single week and make sure it's clean before each showing super super important um and that's i i think that's probably one of the most obvious things to do uh cleaning windows this is a uh, you know a lot of people don't want to clean the exterior of the windows especially on a second story you know they have to go on a ladder and clean that up you know, pay somebody to do it. It's not that, you know, it's not that expensive. It's also gonna be great for the photos because if you have clean windows, 
then the photos are going to look much nicer, right? You know, just think about all that dirt and that dust, the rain that has been sitting on those window, you know, on the exterior part of the window for the years that you've owned your home, right? If you haven't cleaned those windows, now is the time before you put it on the market. Make sure it looks clean and pristine. You want to sell something that looks really moving ready. All right, what's the next thing here? Painting, another super easy fix. You can paint yourself or you can hire painted painters are super cheap for the most part. Um, um, but this is a great example. Another listing I had that was already on the market. We made some small changes, but look, look how different this looks. We painted it, we staged it, and we took out the heavy window coverings. And it looks like a, it, you go from an older house looking to a newer modern house and by making those small changes. This is the exact same house. This is the exact same property and it looks 10 times better, right? So painting the rooms neutral is very important. Very important. You want it to look neutral. You want, you want the majority of the buyers to like it. If you have something specific like this red color or this like, you know, you know, uh, darker red color, um, it's very specific. You might have, you know, one out of 10 buyers might like that, but nine out of 10 it isn't going to like it. So make, make the house as neutral as possible because most buyers like that neutral look and, and let the buyers paint it when they, when they own the property. But before you, you put your house on the market, make sure you do this easy fix. Painting is one of the cheaper things you can do and it, it adds so much, so much value. All right, guys, staging, another really important thing. I feel like everything I'm talking about here is super important. Um, so always consult with your agent and ask them, hey, what are the things I can do to really add value and, and also things that aren't gonna cost me too much money. Staging is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but again, this is gonna be worth your time and your money. Um, here on the left is an average stager. On the right is a, a more expensive stager, not that much more, but you can see they're adding mirrors to the end of the wall to, to bring in more brightness and to also just make the space look larger. And look how we, how we position the, uh, the furniture in that room so that it, it flows better. You have an open, an open living room on the right. On the left, you have a closed living room. You want the flow to be really easy when you're showing the property. Um, so if you are gonna stage your property, make sure you know who's gonna be staging it. Don't go cheap on the stager. Make sure you go with somebody who knows how to stage it properly. There's plenty of great stagers out there and they're not that expensive. Landscaping, super important as well. Um, uh, this is a property, again, that was already on the market before. I took over, we cleaned it up. I mean, look at the uh, at the right photo. This is the exact same property, the same year. All we did was was we, we added some sod in there. We took some evening shots to make it look really, really pretty. We have those, those beautiful, uh, you know, purple, you know, clouds in the background during the, during the twilight hour. I love to take twilight shots because they're really, really emotional shots, right? You really like fall in love with the, with the photo. Um, so in this photo here on the right, you can see we added sod. On the left, they, they had not added sod. This is a super easy fix. You can even, you can even um, you know, pay somebody to Photoshop you know, green grass here on the left, and that will make a big difference, right? We actually added real grass on the right uh, on the same property, and it looks amazing. So that's a great thing. Also, you know, if you have very lush landscape in the backyard or in the front yard, make sure it's trimmed up and it looks super, super clean. You want everything to look very clean, very presentable. So have your landscaper, have your gardener come out, um, you know, before the photo shoot and even during that whole process while it's on the market to come every week, to come every other week and make sure everything's trimmed up and looking really, really good. All right, tree trimming. Another, uh, you know, uh, another part of that landscaping kind of talk here is if you can trim the trees to expose a view, why not do that? We actually did that on a property uh, I listed in Hollywood Hills. You're in the pool and there's a massive tree that blocks the city views, right? So what we did is we, we cut that tree down and now you have amazing city views from the pool. Um, so this is just an example. I didn't have time to, to take before and after photos on that one, but this one here is a great example. Like if you have a house in the mountains and you have a great lake in the background and all you have to do is just trim some of those branches to expose that, that lake view, you're adding so much value to that, to that property. And again, these are, you know, these are really, really cheap things to do. You know, you have a gardener do this for maybe, a, a, you know, less than a thousand dollars, right? So consult with your agent 
think about what things can make a buyer fall in love with your property. If there's a view there and it's not exposed, how do you, how can you expose that view, right? So, so think about all these things before you uh, put, your, put your house in the market and consult with your agent. Twilight photography, like I told you before, twilight photography is so, so important. So here on the right, this is the exact same bedroom. Um, on, the, on the left, you know, obviously it's still a beautiful shot. You can't see the beautiful city lights from here. On the right, you could. The, this photo on the right sold me this property. This house was on the market for three years with seven different top agents here in, here in LA. We took some beautiful nighttime photography. We sold it in a month. We got two offers and it sold for 98% of list price. So again, guys, uh, you know, I always go above and beyond, um, you know, for my clients. And, you know, I hope whoever you hire does the same thing. So, you know, make sure you ask your agent, hey, are we going to take twilight shots? Is it worth to, to take twilight shots? Maybe if you own a condo, it's not worth it. But if you own a property, a, a single family house, usually it's worth it to take that, uh, to take the evening shots, right? The, the pre-sunset, sunset time. It's like a, you have an hour of time to get those really, really nice shots. Um, photography with good lighting. Uh, another thing that is super important, again, the photos. Everything, uh, everything I'm talking about here has to do with, with photos besides the deep cleaning. But everything we're doing here is to have better photos. So this is a, the same property, again, already on the market with, with, an, with another agent I took over. And you can see here on the right, we, we, have, we just have more flash. So my photographer has, has, um, has uh, these, these little flash units that he can put around the room and it talks to the camera. So when he takes the, uh, the photo, the flash goes off in different parts of the room and makes the room look brighter. And it looks so much cleaner and it just looks more pleasant to look at. So that's another way to, uh, to add value to this, um, to this uh, property here. That's it, guys. I think, um, you know, I gave you guys a lot to kind of think about. This is just scratching the surface. There's so many more things you can do to your property to add value before you put it on the market. Always consult with your agent. Consult with a professional who has experience in selling houses and how to add value. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. You can email me here uh, down below is my email. You can call me as my cell phone. You can visit my website. You can follow me on Instagram, at Paul Salazar Group. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I'm on all the social sites. I'm very easy to find, and I'm always here to help, guys. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. We'll talk soon. Bye.